before in lower grades, when it comes to circles, we measure its area and circumference. I mean the whole area and the whole circumference. But now, we are more interested in getting just part of it, a part of the area, just like on the first figure we call this sector, a part of the circumference, on the second figure we call this an arc, an arc, on an, or an arc length, arc na lang. And this one, we call this a segment. By the way, yung segment dyan ay yung part lang ng, yeah, yung sector minus tong triangle na to. So, ibig sabihin, ito lang yung segment. Ito lang yung segment dyan. Ewan ko ba bakit sinama ko pa tong triangle? Well, hindi to kasama ha. So, that's segment. Okay, let's focus first on sector. The sector is just a fraction of the whole area. Now, how do we get the area of the sector? Well, actually, concern natin dyan is to determine anong part ng whole circle yung sector. So, we need to look for a fraction that will represent the sector. So, we have to look for clues na magbibigay sa atin. Oh, anong, anong fractional part or anong part lang ng buong circle yung sector? Well, I know the whole circle is 360 degrees and this particular, for this particular example, 72 degrees lang yung part niya. So therefore, this yellow shaded part here is just 72 degrees over 360 degrees of the whole area which is actually equivalent to one-fifth. Ibig sabihin, itong sector na to, one-fifth lang siya ng buong area. The area, we know from grade 4, alam natin, the formula for the area is pi r squared. So therefore, this sector, this yellow part here, is just one-fifth of the whole area. It's one-fifth of the whole area. And basically, ganun lang gagawin natin kapag sa mga sectors. So let's write the formula. So the area, let's so let's write here, area of sector is equivalent to, again, the fractional part. The fractional part is just the degree, the degree in arc of the sector, which means this one, central angle, the central angle, divided by 360 degrees. And let's multiply this by the whole area. The whole area, the formula is pi r squared, pi r squared. Okay, so basically that's the formula. So let's determine the area of this for this example. So that's degree in the degree of arc. This is degree of arc, the degree in one. Oh, may ben, but parang ang gulo no It should be degree of arc in sector. Yeah, degree of arc in sector. So in this case, the degree of arc in sector is 72 over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Your r is 5. 5 squared. 72 over 360. We already know that's 1 over 5. Pi times 25. And you can cancel 5 here. Which will give you 5 there. Therefore, the area of the sector is just 5 pi square units. So again, the formula for the area of the sector is just the degree of arc in sector or the measure of the central angle divided by 360 degrees times pi r squared. Now, we will be doing the same approach for the arc. Kasi ito, um, alam, circumference naman to, hindi naman to area. The, the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r or pi d. So, ganun din to. The arc length, uh, nga pala, concern, ang arc length nga pala, di ba ba remember the arc length? Meron tayong degree measure. It depends on the central angle na naka-intercept sa kanya. So, for this case, the degree measure of this arc, yung yellow arc na to, is, seven, uh, is also 72 degrees. But now, we're concerned with, or we're interested with getting how long is this arc. Well, I know the whole thing is 360 degrees again, and it's circumference. So, goal natin dito is to look for a fraction that we can multiply to the circumference para makuha natin yung ito, itong fractional part na to. And we know that it, it covers 72 degrees. So, katulad lang din dun sa sector, the arc length, let me put it here, arc length, arc length, is equal to degree in arc, degree in arc over 360 degrees times the circumference. The circumference is 2 pi r. Okay. So, for this particular example, the degree in arc is 72 degrees ulit over 360 degrees times the circumference 2 times pi times the radius which is 5. So, 72 over 360, that's 1 over 5 times 10 pi. Simplify this. 10 pi times 1 over 5, that's equivalent to 2 pi. 2 pi units. So, therefore, the length of this arc is 2 times pi. Okay, so enough for this sector and for the arc. Let's go over segment. Alright, let's talk about the segment naman. This is a segment na bura kanina. Segment. Again, yung segment dito, ito lang part na to ha. Itong part na to lang. 
which means uh, the segment the segment is equivalent to the sector tama the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle formed by the radius and the chord connecting the endpoints of the endpoints of the of the arc. Ngayon, yung area ng sector, alam na natin yung area ng sector. Eh. Area of the sector is um, 60 over 360. That's degree in arc over 360 times pi r squared. So, yung sector dito, it's 60 degrees. Let us let me use white. It's 60 degrees divided by 360 times pi i, pi i squared, pi r squared <laughs> minus the area of the triangle. Ah, so how do we get the area of the triangle? Simplify nga muna natin tong kabila. This is 1 over 6 pi times your radius is 5. So we'll get 25 over 6 pi. So that's the area of the sector. Now, we're concerned with the getting the area of the triangle. Now this is, I believe this is a, an equilateral triangle because these two are radii, so equal to. This is also, so kung equal to, ay so silis to. So ikasi bin, parehas tong dalawang side, dalawang angles na to. So this also measures 60 degrees and this is also 60 degrees. Ikasi bin, 5 din to. This is an equilateral triangle. And what's the formula for getting the area of the of an equilateral triangle? Uh, if you don't know, well, there's actually a formula for this one. So yeah, let's derive. The, the, let's draw an equilateral triangle. I hope this is an equilateral triangle. Yan. Um, with side measure, uh, with side equal to S. All angles are 60 degrees. So we have 60 degrees here. So I'm going to go dito, I will drop a perpendicular line here. So that will serve as the height. This now is 90 degrees. And this one is 30 degrees because it's half of 60. Okay. So uh, remember the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So in lang ang muna ang concern natin. Yung katapat ng 90 is actually S. Sabi sa 30, 60, 90 triangle, yung katapat daw ng 30 should be half of, of, that, of the length na katapat ng 90. So kung S yun, ibig sabihin S over 2 tong part na to. Bakit yellow yan? This is S over 2. Now, yung katapat naman ng 60 is yung katapat ng 30 times square root of 3. So, that means it's S square root of 3 over 2. The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half of the base times the height. So, it's 1 half. Yung base natin is S. Remember, the base is S. This whole thing is S. It's S. And your height is S. Let me use yellow. S square root of 3 over 2. So all you have to do is to multiply everything. So you have an S and an S. That's an S squared. Square root of 3. And we have a 2 times 2. We have a 4. So this is the formula for getting the area of an equilateral triangle kung ang, uh, with given side length uh, S. So let's use that. S squared squared of 3 over 4. So let's continue this. Area of the triangle is, ano formula? S squared square root of 3 over 4. Your side measures 5. So 5 squared square root of 3 over 4. So this is 20, 25 over 4 times square root of 3. Well, I'm okay with this one. Okay na ako dito. Just put, ano ba to? Units, yung units. Parentheses, and then square units. Okay? Um, kayo na yung bahalang kumuha ng decimal representation. Yan. But you can answer also in decimal, you can answer in dito. Exact. Okay, let's have this example. Ang goal natin dito is to get the area of the shaded region. So if you want to give this problem a try, we pause the video, tapos subukan nyo muna ito. Again, we're going to look for the area of the shaded. Ang shaded natin yan yung yellow. Shaded region. Meaning this one. What's the area of this one? Oh, sige. Isipan natin. Paano natin kukuha na yung area ng shaded region? Well, pwede natin, um, sana na-notice nyo to, no? So we have a tr an equilateral triangle here if I connect this. So we have an equilateral triangle. Mm-hmm. With side equivalent to four. Tama, kasi this is this is this is two. This is also two. Two. So therefore, the side of the equilateral equilateral triangle measures four units. So para mako yung shaded region, it will be the area shaded region. That's equivalent to the area of the triangle. Tama ba? Area of the triangle. Area of triangle minus. Tapos i minus natin tong mga sector na to. Naman? Gets nyo ba yun? Itong mga sector na to. So, we have three sectors. Uh, so, area of the shaded region equals area of the triangle minus minus of the three sectors. Okay. Hmm. Well, ano tong sector na to? The sector measures... Hindi pala. This, the, this, is, this is an equilateral triangle, no? So, ibig sabihin 60 degrees to. 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So, kung gusto mong kunin yung sector, it's 60 over 360 times the area of one of the circles. By the way, I forgot to mention, 
these are all identical circles. Ganun pala yung makikita nyo sa mga problem. Identical circles, they are externally tangent. So, let's get the area of the triangle. Area of the triangle is, we have a formula for that, di ba? We have S squared, square root of 3 over 4. So, that gives us 4 squared. Remember, 4 na yung side nito. Square root of 3 over 4. So, yung isang 4 sa taas mawawala. So, the area is 4 square root of 3. Yung area na ngayon tayo ng mga sectors. Tatlo daw ng area ng sectors. One of the sector, one of the sectors, measure 60 degrees over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Your r is 2. 2 lang yung r dito kasi isang circle lang yung consider natin. So that's 2 squared. So it's 3 times 60 over 360, that's 1 over 6. 1 over 6 times 4 pi. How about 1 over 6 over 4 pi. So, ang gawin natin dito, yung 3 dito, tsaka yung 6 dito, magka-cancel sila, magiging 2 na lang. Tapos, yung 2 sa ilalim, tong 4 na to, magka-cancel din. So, it's 2 na lang. So, the answer will be just 2 pi. So, therefore, the area of the shaded region is equivalent to 4 root of 3 minus 2 pi square units. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about this one? Um, yung problem na to, we have 4 identical circles. Let's say, ano to, uh, kan ng, ng gatas. Okay, yeah. Top view. Dikit-dikit sila. Tapos, ang gagawin natin, we're going to put a rubber band around them. Just like this one. Tung color red na to. Rubber band around the four tangent, four equal circles na tangent to each other. Then the problem is, how long is the rubber band? Nung na-stretch na ha? How long is the rubber band nung na-stretch? So again, if you want to give this problem a try, subukan nyo muna, and then you go back. Ay, wait. Hindi nyo pala ito masusubukan. Wala pala tayong radius. Um, Mag-invento na lang tayo. The radius is 2, for example. The radius is 2. Yan. The radius is 2. And then look for the length of the rubber band. Okay. Game. Let's try to work on this one. The length of the rubber band. Uh -hmm. Well, pag dinivide-divide natin to, we need to know... Well, ano yung mga alam pala muna natin? This is 2 units. 2. Ibig sabihin, this is also 2. And this is also 2. So, ibig sabihin, from this point up to this point, this rubber band is just 4 units. Ito, mula dito hanggang dito. Mula dito hanggang dito is also 4 units. Dito hanggang dito, 4 units. At dito hanggang dito is also 4 units. So, ang goal na lang natin is to look for, to look for the length of the rubber band dito sa mga paliko. So, ito, how long is this? Ito, 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 tsaka ito. Well, apat yon na... Apat na one-fourth, tama ba? Apat na one-fourth kasi tangent siya doon, dito, dito. So, nag-form siya ng 90 degrees. So, apat na 90 degrees yan. Therefore, it's 360. Makakabuo na siya ng isang bilog. Tama? So, this is the first arc length. The second arc length is this one. And the other one is this one. And the other one is this one which will form a whole circle. So, ang goal na lang natin dito is to look for the circumference of one whole circle. And the circumference of one whole circle is 2 pi r, 2 times pi. Your radius is 2, so therefore the circumference is 4 pi. Isang buong circle yon. Kasi alam natin that the sum of those um, arc lengths will form a whole circle. So therefore, the length of the rubber band, length of the rubber band. By the way, ano to? A stretched rubber band. That's equivalent to yung mga apat yung apat na tuwid so it's 4 4 4 that's to give you 16 plus yung mga nakatagilid that's 4 pi therefore the length of the rubber band is 16 plus 4 pi units